Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Matthew Ross, and I'm the parochial vicar at Holy Cross Church. It's a joy to be with you here this, today. We begin our celebration today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. And with your spirit. My friends, as we come to celebrate the sacred liturgy today, let us take a few moments now to recall our own sins and ask for God's forgiveness and his mercy in our lives. Lord Jesus, you are always true to your word. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are always faithful to your promises. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call us to repentance and to fidelity. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Together we pray glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, Humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, 
did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came first, he came to the first and said, Son, go out and work into the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not, but afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of these two did the Father's will? They answered the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A very simple question I would like to pose to you today. What does it mean to do the will of God? I asked this to my confirmation class at Holy Cross one day, and I was interested to see the response. And one of, you know, a few of the responses were very simple. You know, Father, to do the will of God, we have to pray. We have to help those in need. We have to listen to those in authority. And we have to follow the Ten Commandments. You know, as I was listening to this, I was wondering to myself, wow, that's actually pretty, those are pretty good answers when we think about it. But I want you to think to yourself today, for you yourself, what does it mean for you to do the will of God in your life? When we all think of doing the will of God, let's take that first particular one. Help those in need. What does it mean when we're called to help those in need? Maybe it's just simply praying for somebody. Maybe we're not able to physically help somebody, but we remember that we can still pray for somebody. We can still pray for, for their intercession to God. Maybe we can help them financially. Maybe we can just sit there and listen to them and be a listening ear for what they need. All of those things that we do are focused around one particular thing, and that is prayer. You know, when we make this oppor- take this opportunity in our lives to pray, to take a few minutes out of the morning or the evening to carve out 5, 10, or 15 minutes and just spend that few moments with prayer, in prayer to God. But one of the other, one of the other uh, responses that the Confirmation Kids said was, follow the Ten Commandments. And I think they were a little nervous at what I would say after that because I asked them, well, what are the Ten Commandments? What does it mean to you to follow those Ten Commandments? It's very easy for us to say, well, it, to, to do the will of God is to follow the commands of Christ. Absolutely. But let's take that a a step deeper. Are we honoring the Sabbath? Are we taking time for ourselves, for our family? Are we allowing ourselves to not work on Sunday, 
to grow closer to God in prayer? Are we allowing ourselves to make sure that nothing is truly taking the place of God? Are we allowing ourselves to make sure that nothing is taking that place or any other idols taking a place of God? When we look at these two things, there's many other things that we can reflect upon. But I want you to take a few minutes today and recognize where do you see yourselves working and doing the will of God in your life? That's something we all need to reflect on in our lives. But let's not be like the first son in the gospel today where we say we're going to do something and we don't do it. The first step of doing the will of God is affirming that we're going to do it and follow through. So let's make that commitment to ourselves today and do that exact same thing. To do the will of God means to pray, means to follow the commandments as best we can. So let's take a few minutes today and see where we need to work on in our own lives and reflect how we can do the will of God in our lives. Let us now profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us ask for the grace and the strength to be faithful as God's good servants as we turn to him in prayer. For a spirit of penitence in all members of the church, that we may always be open to a conversion of heart we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders who will speak and act for the sake of those who have no voice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For children and young people, that they may always possess the joy and wonder of God's great love and care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For respect and care for God's creation and all our natural resources, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are suffering, that they may be healed and made whole through the compassionate care of family and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, that they may be welcomed into the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, grant that what we have said with our lips, we may believe in our hearts and practice in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord the accept a sacrifice, sacrifice at, your hands, at your hands for the praise and the, the glory of his, of his name, for our, for our good, good and good of all his holy all church. His holy Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through this wellspring of all blessing it may be laid open before us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished a marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Douglas our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ to those whose suffering we are united whenever we, we, we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 
My friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everyone.